What is going on guys, Jack here, and welcome to a Football Manager experiment for you guys today. Today's something a little bit different. Uh, if you didn't know, it's the 1st of August as I record this, and there's been an odd signing, and that is Louis Tomlinson from One Direction signing for Doncaster Rovers and it happens or it just so happens to be in fact that I'm fairly handy with the Football Manager editor so here we have Louis Tomlinson to make it a little bit different I have given him a current ability of 100 and a potential ability of 200 so there's no limit to how good he could actually become on this but we're just going to kind of have a little bit of fun I, I don't normally do these kind of kind of one-off player experiments uh, but I thought I'd try it out for you guys today I'm pairing this with the LFC Marshall update so uh, there'll be all the transfers that are going on in the summer already added in this save as well so it should be should be a fairly accurate representation of what might happen this year if Louis Tomlinson happened to be a wonder kid uh, but no it's gonna be a little bit of fun as you can see here he's on one pound a week he has 40 million pounds to his name uh, I've given him his accurate height and weight I went and looked that up online myself fortunately for me if you type in Louis Tomlinson height Google in fact tells you which I was just like mind blown but uh, yeah we've given him just random stats really he's gonna be playing centre mid uh, you can see here his stats are fairly well rounded off uh, he has a value of 40 million because I put his reputation up to the highest it could be because of course every, everyone knows who One Direction are so <laughs> that made sense uh, but basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna go on holiday for a few years uh, see how he gets on and depending on that and how you guys kind of receive this we might go further on and just see what he could do but it's pretty cool of him to go to Doncaster in real life it has to be said he's going there they're going to be doing lots of publicity stuff trying to raise some money for charity so I know not everyone's going to be a fan of this kind of whole sign a former pop star idea I think he used to play for Doncaster Rovers Academy as well a few years ago before he got into music so it's not like it's completely out the blue and it is his home club um, and that is also reflected here you'll see uh, favorite club is Doncaster supporter so We've added in all the important information, but we'll see how he gets on. Uh, but I'm going to go forward a year, guys. Let's see what happens. I literally have no idea what to expect with some of the weird values in, involved here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back, and it's the end of the first season, so we'll see what's happening in the world of Louis Tomlinson at Doncaster. So um, in the league, in the championship here... They got relegated. <laughs> I can't say I'm entirely surprised by that. Doncaster went down with Sheffield Wednesday in Yeovil. Um, looking at their squad, where is Louis Tomlinson? There he is. He's been playing centre mid for them. He now has a value of three million. He's on a new contract, so he's not on a pound a week anymore. Uh, looking at his stats, he's improved pretty significantly in all areas. Um, 41 appearances, a 6.37 average rating. Has to be said, that's pretty darn terrible. Um, no achievements, no nothing. Just just an average season, I suppose, with Doncaster. Um, might be interesting to see if he stays with them this coming year. His stats have developed quite a lot, though. Um, I'm kind of surprised by that. Interesting to see how much his value actually dropped. Um, but yeah, he signed this new contract with Doncaster until the 15th. So he's got two a two-year deal now. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens um, next season when he's playing in the Prem, uh, uh, not in the Prem, in the League One even. Uh, looking at his stats, you can see here, um, one game in the Capital, Capital One Cup, so I'm guessing that um, Doncaster got knocked out by them. Pass completion ratio of 62%, only 66 tackles in 41 games, that's pretty terrible. Um, looking at his form... Um, what was his best performance? A 7.5 was his best, so that's pretty bad. Lots of appearances as a sub, it has to be said, um, which is a little bit different. In fact, is that him getting subbed off? It might be. Um, still pretty odd. Definitely not his best season ever. Uh, still not capped for England. I think he's grown by 3 centimetres and lost a kilogram in weight. Just dieting a little, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to go forward another year now. We'll see what's what. Hopefully, there's a little bit more interesting going on. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I'll join you in just a second. So, it's the end of the second season. And, of course, Doncaster got relegated last year. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, looking at the League One table, where did they come? Doncaster came 12th. Wow. Disappointing season for them. Um It'll be interesting to see how Louis got on. He's unhappy at the club. Um, looking at his uh, status, he's unhappy. Uh, well, very unhappy, in fact. He's un uh, transfer listed by request as well. Um, if we go on information here, 
Um, thinks the club's underachieving. This year he played 24 games, one up front and uh, 23 from midfield. Looking at uh, his stats for last season, he really struggled in the first team, it has to be said, only 20 appearances. Uh, overall, um, getting an average rate of 6.14 getting one goal as well to his name his value is now only 2.1 million uh looking at his attributes uh it's still improving it has to be said he's a lot better than kind of your average league one player and his uh wage is still the same and he is on a, the same contract as last year um looking at um his uh stats overview um yeah, 24 appearances. Did he get injured then? He must have done, surely. Yeah, he was out with a hip injury for two months and then he was out for another three weeks later on in the season. So that probably affected his um, kind of stuff. Looking at his achievements, nothing to tell you about. Pretty boring season again. I'm hoping he's going to do something interesting here. I believe in you, Louis. Go go to a better club than Doncaster. No, no offence to any Doncaster fans watching. Um <laughs> But no, stats are improving though, which is interesting to see. Obviously, he's 22 now. Uh, just looking uh, at what else is going on in England at the same time. Uh, Man City won the league this year. Villa, Reading and Derby uh, went up. In this league though, wow, I can't believe how low down Doncaster really finished there. Are they just Have they got a small squad? Are they lacking strength? Let's have a look quickly. Um, where's selection info? There it is. Um, Okay, so in terms of um, just stats in general, they just don't look like they're playing very well. A lot of players very unhappy and wanting to leave. Um, not really enough goals coming, it has to be said. Uh, I'm really hoping that Louis le leaves next year. Uh, I can probably see it happening. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what happens, uh, really. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go forward one more year this episode, and then I think we'll wrap it up for today's video. And depending on how this was received, as I've already said, I may well do a follow-up video kind of further down the line. So it's the end of the third season, so let's see what's going on here. I have no idea what to expect. And Louis is still at Doncaster United. Um... This is, of course, the end of his third season at the club. This year, he's not really improved as a player. 23 years old now. This year, he made a lot more appearances than he did last year. And he got his highest rating so far uh, for a season. Doncaster themselves, where did they finish in the league this year? They finished top of the league. Uh, so he will be playing in the championship next year. Uh, which is good to see, obviously. He didn't move on, which was something that was looking like it might happen uh, for him, just given his kind of lack of happiness. He is playing right centre mid for them, it seems, at the moment. Just to look at his stats, uh, 38 games played in all competitions. Um, not the best stats ever, it has to be said again, but most goals and assists um, this year than any other year, which is kind of good to see and a good average rating. Uh, in terms of his form, he missed out at the start of the season. Uh, but since then, he has gone on uh, to make more appearances uh, in kind of the last 20 games. Really had a good run in at the end of the season. Uh, so that's good for him. Um, what else is there to look at? His contract. He signed a new contract with the club for three years. Obviously, them being promoted was a big plus for him. His values continue to drop, however, now to 1.1 million. Uh, not the best career ever. He's become friends with James Coppinger, who's now at York. So he left uh, a few seasons ago, in fact, uh, from Doncaster. But he did build up a relationship with him. So that's kind of interesting to see. He's enjoying playing for the club. In terms of his positions, he's played a bit uh, here, there and everywhere. Uh, but most of the time sticking with his natural central midfielder position. So, not a lot really uh, to excited to tell you guys about. It'll be pretty interesting to see kind of next year with him going, of course, to um, the championship, whether or not he can kind of stake a claim for a first team spot there. His stats are fairly decent, it has to be said. So, that's maybe something to look forward to in kind of the follow up episode to this one. So yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Obviously, this all happened today, so it's very much been a video that I've worked on this afternoon. Uh, really appreciate it if you could give the video a like. If you're new around here and you want to check out some more of my videos, uh, click down below, subscribe, you know, check all that stuff. And other than that, guys, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. <laughs>